Hello there, year one and two. Mr. Gibbs here from Art Victoria Academy with another home PE lesson. So this week, if I haven't have you haven't had you already, we've been focusing on athletics. Now I've already had a couple of classes, and if you've missed out, this is the lesson which we did at school. Okay, and we're going to just go over what we what covered, what we covered, and then try and develop our skills in a shot put and that's what we're going to be doing today so if you've already done our class lesson this week in school and i've already had you this can just be another recap of the skills that we learned and the technique that how how to how we did shot put okay but first before we even get started we need to do our warm-up so can someone firstly tell me why is it that we do a warm-up i'll give you a few seconds to answer that question have a little think why we do a warm up before all activity and exercise in our PE lessons mainly, okay? Have a little think. So if you said to get our body ready for exercise, well done. If you also said to prevent injury, to stop us get, getting injured, well done. It gets our body nice and warm, gets our muscles nice and warm and makes them really elastic -y and getting them nice and stretchy and nice and warm so that we don't have any injuries. And it also helps us get ready to do our activities so we can do them really, really, really well. So well done if you said any of that. So firstly, we need to stretch our arms because they're gonna be the main things that we're using today because we're doing shot put. So firstly, I want you to put your arm behind your head and pull with your other arm just behind your elbow there, okay? So arm behind and pull, okay? Each of these need to be done for about eight seconds. Eight to 10 seconds is great. So if you need to pause the video, please do, do so, okay? Make sure you do both arms, eight to 10 seconds. Pause the video if you need to, okay? Good, now we're gonna put them across our chest, across the front. Now this is really gonna stretch our shoulder muscles and the top arm right there, okay? Because that's really what we're gonna be getting all the power from today, okay? Next one. Make sure you feel a nice stretch there. Don't pull too hard, just so you can feel a stretch. Good. Next we need to do is our legs, okay? So what we're gonna do is something called a lunge, okay? That's when we have one leg in front of the other and the other one is a little bit stretched out behind us, okay? Now the reason we're doing this is to get the right technique in order to push the ball nice and high, okay? Down, make sure that leg's not touching the floor, the knee. Creating a nice little upside down L there with the front of our leg. Make sure we swap and do both sides as well because it's super important we do both sides so we're stretching both legs. If someone could tell me any leg muscles right down there, that'd be fantastic. And there's a really big one going right down the back of our leg there. If you can tell me that, fantastic, okay? So now we're warmed up, both our legs and our arms, we can get into today's activity. So today's activity is shot put. Now shot put is an athletics event mainly in the Olympics, but you can also take part of them outside of it as well. It's when we have a ball, a really heavy ball, and you hold it somewhere around your shoulder and neck. You get down nice and low, and you push up. Remembering it's a push, not a throw. Even though it's a throwing event, shot put is a push, not a throw, okay? So when you would normally throw a ball like that, we are pushing a the ball, there's a little bit of a difference. So a throw might not end in a straight arm, whereas a push for a shot put should end in a straight arm, okay? So a little few things to remember. When we're throwing, making, sh making sure that we start in a nice low position, ending in a nice big and open position, okay? So low and together, and then finishing high, open, and nice and stretched out, okay? Now if you've got a ball at home, fantastic. A lot of people should have a little tennis ball at home, okay? If you've got any sort of small ball, that'd be fantastic. If you've got a bigger one, still give it a go, okay? Now, there's a nice little rule to remember during shot put. It's something called clean palm and dirty fingers. The reason why we have clean palm and dirty fingers is because the ball is actually held in our fingertips there, just there, a little pocket right there, okay? And when we're pushing it, we're pushing it with our whole arm and it should stay in our fingertips there. And that's how we hold a shot foot. So clean palm right there, 
and dirty fingers, okay? That's the really main thing to remember when you're holding the ball, okay? Now, as I said, we start in a nice low position. So you put the ball to one side for now, and we'll practice the positioning, okay? Now, another thing to remember, don't lift your feet up. It's something called a little twizzle, okay? To the side, like that. So my feet aren't actually stepping. They're just twizzling to the side, like that, okay? Now get yourself in a nice low position, like me. Making sure that you're facing the way that you need to face, okay? Make sure that you look where you're gonna be throwing, because you don't wanna be throwing somewhere where you might lose the ball or damage something at home. So, if you're right-handed, have your left arm facing where you want to throw the ball. If you're left-handed, have your right arm facing where you want to throw the ball because we're going to be twisting our feet and going in the direction that we're going to be throwing the ball, okay? So I'll do it right-handed. You need to get your ball. Nice low position. Remember, if I'm right-handed, my left arm is facing the way I want to throw it, okay? The ball comes just here. Remember, clean palm, dirty fingers. The ball comes right towards our neck and shoulder. And all we're gonna do, start in a nice low position, twizzle our feet, get nice and tall, and then finish, really important now, with a straight arm, we're pushing the ball, okay? Not throwing the ball, pushing the ball, okay? Nice and low. Up and push, okay? I'll quickly show you, and I'm gonna throw it down the hall just there, okay? I'm also going to, in a minute, put a couple of cones down just as a target to try and get the ball in between, okay? So all I'm gonna do is what I'll do is I'll do it over here. So left arm's facing where I wanna throw it. Ball towards our neck, up and push, okay? Couple of cones, just so you can see where I'm trying to get, not too far away. Get them in a fairly wide position. So we're gonna to aim to get the ball in between these two cones here. If you get a couple of things at home, if you've got a garden, please use the space. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to aim to get the ball in between those two cones. It doesn't need to roll, it just needs to go somewhere in the air between those two cones there, okay? So I'm gonna get in a nice low position, left arm's facing over there. Nice and low, ball comes right here. All I'm gonna do is twizzle my feet and push the ball, okay? Copy exactly how I do it. Pause the video and rewind if you need to, okay? Up, push, okay? As you can see, the ball has gone right between the two cones, so that means we've got our target. If you can do that, fantastic. If you can't, give it a couple of goes, okay? So let's watch it in motion just again. Left arm's facing over there, nice and low. Ball would come here, all we're gonna do, twizzle our feet, so they're gonna go like that, not gonna step, twizzle the feet, okay? Low, up high, straight arm. So important to have a straight arm, because that's gonna give us the maximum amount of power to push that ball. If we can do it a bit quicker as well, the power's gonna generate from the bottom of our body, where our legs are, up through, and then out through to the arm, okay? So that's today's P lesson. There's your target, remember, Staying safe, so make sure you've got a nice safe area to do it. Asking if you're going to use some sort of equipment that you're not normally going to use. And making sure that you have fun as well, okay? Make sure you're safe, asking permission, and that you're having fun, okay? Give that a go for me. Thank you.